I've been meaning to make this video for ages. It's gonna be a video looking at my TT bike. I've got some nice aero equipment on there. I've got some niche things like one by drivetrains, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, and I think it'll be pretty interesting to go have a look what I've picked and then um, we'll try and get some good. Uh, unfortunately, I've got no glamorous assistance, so you're not gonna be able to see me and the bike at the same time. But uh, this is the frame. If long time viewers will know this, it's a 2011 Giant Trinity. Um, has been ridden to sub three hour, 100 mile TT by the old man JS. So uh, that's supposed to be a quick bike. Anyway, obviously the wheels aren't the wheels we've got. We've got my Envy down here, which will be lobbed on the front and the disc, we're gonna get a disc because I learned money from YouTube. So we can buy a disc now, which is very exciting. So anyway, obviously the most exciting part is the front. So I've got some very nice Aero Lab, like high rise um, arm pads. So they basically like come further up. So if you look here, they're like a lot higher up. Um, if you can see that in a normal one. So what it allows you to do is that your arm is like pushed, kept in place. Um, so if you're trying to get a narrow position, which I have, then it's really easy to do. Um, so I re really recommend having the, like a higher arm pad um, than a no normal one. And the other really cool thing is also Aerolab and it's like a 15 degree arm wedge. So imagine if you were trying to have my uh, position normally with no arm, arm pad uh, sort of wedge. Your arms at such a weird angle, they'd be like that. And it's just not very comfortable. So you can't really see it. Um, because obviously, you know, your arms going at a crazy angle. So the extension we chose a Zip VUCA 105s, I think, or something. Anyway, they're absolutely class for two reasons. Number one, if we look from this angle, you can see that they, they point inwards. So like, instead of going straight like this, they have an inward curve. So what it allows you to do is get really narrow at the front end, which is a massive advantage because being narrow is super, super important. Um, and the other reason that I really like them is obviously that they allow you to get into quite a high position. So they come up. You can't really see it as much just because the arm pads are quite high up, except uh, so it means it doesn't seem like as high as it is, but your arms go a lot higher. Um, and if you look at most of the people who ride really fast TTs, they seem to have that position. Um, so in terms of like, on the base part, I've just got some skateboard grip tape, which I really recommend. You just get it from Amazon or whatever, but it's like as grippy, I'd say, as sandpaper, but not as harsh um, on your hands. Um, and to be honest, like, it's just quite useful to have. Um, some people don't have it, but I feel like it's good. Um, at the front, I've also got like a watch shop, but you can also get this from Aerolab as well. And it's like a, just a hook to put your hands on. Um, it's just a bit more comfortable than just having nothing on the end of the bar, I found. Um, and obviously, hopefully when you're TT and you'll be down in the 11 or so, or, you know, mid cassette at least. So it's going to be quite similar trajectory um, with your shifter and that. Um, in terms of the shifters, obviously it's Durace on the front because that's the only one you can get from Shimano. Um, and then it's rooted quite cleanly all the way through to a 105 rear mech. So it's a long cage, so I can have a 32 cassette, which is what I prefer to have on all my bikes. I just feel like it gives you a better range. Um, and I don't really find there's huge gaps. Um, and so for, in terms of chain set, it's just 105, 165 mil cranks, which I really rate for TT bikes. Again, it just allows you to open your hip angle, have a slightly higher saddle, ang saddle height. And I just feel like my power on a TT bike is really quite similar to my road bike. And I think that's probably one of the main reasons. Then up to the saddle, again, it sort of is up to you. I have a specialized power. When I have my bike fit for my TT bike, they said to use it. I don't really, I wouldn't say I rate it, I wouldn't say I don't rate it, it's all right, but I haven't really ridden many TT saddles, so I wouldn't say I can comment too much about it. Um, in terms of pedals, you've just got some standard crappy look pedals, they do the job, but nothing spectacular. And obviously the only thing with this bike is that the um, it's got no bottle cages, so I've got this sort of bottle cage, like Velcro thing, and actually it's surprisingly good, uh, but it does, yeah, it does work pretty well. In terms of disc, I'm not sure what we're going to get, um, maybe a... AliExpress special, maybe a Ron wheels. Um, but if any of you have any recommendations for a cheap disc wheel, then um, let me know. And then front will just be my MB78. Um, and the reason this bike is pretty special is because obviously it's super old. If we look from the front, there's barely any cables here. It's just like, obviously there's a cable here, but that's literally it. Um, if we look at the, like, it's just super, super clean at the front end, especially running one by. Um, the only thing that's really quite grim is this, sort of cables coming out under the brakes here. And I'd say, you know, if I was gonna critique this bike, 
I think speed, it's obviously not going to be super slow, um, even though it's quite old. I just say the braking is just horrendous. It's really, really bad. But obviously, you don't really buy a TT bike, TT bike to be good at braking, but it is a bit worrying. Like, you wouldn't really want to, like, razz it down the sense in case you had to do, a, like, emergency stop because you just can't. Um, but, yeah, I think also getting rid of the front mechs made it a lot cleaner as well. Taking off the mech, like, I'm not really hanger, but wherever it goes on, like, the braze on thing. And that's definitely made it a pretty sweet bike. Um, and I can't wait to put all my um, race wheels on and everything. And it's going to look absolutely mint. Um, so if you want to do it, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video about my TT bike. Um, if you want me to do any more videos about TT training and all the rest of it, then uh, let me know. As that can definitely happen. And uh, cheers for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Good pictures of me on my bike. And you can all roast my position.